Good morning and welcome to another beautiful day up north. Today we are going to be working on framing in the tiny bunkhouse cabin. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer today, so we're going to take advantage of this nice weather and see how much we can get done. Let's see how long it takes before I start getting accosted by the chickadees. So we have this little game every morning where I come outside and they remind me that they don't have any seeds for breakfast. And uh, that didn't take very long, did it? Well, hello, chick. Looks like the ravens were looking for some seeds as well. Hello, chickadee. Do you need some seeds? Let me sweep off your table. We've got a trailer full of lumber to unload, but first things first, let's get this floor cleaned up. Sorry. Oh, it is going to be a beautiful day today. I got the back wall framed except for the the window. Um, I've got the header made, but I haven't nailed it in because I need to decide how tall I want the window sill to be. So that's my next decision. Anyway, but I haven't been filming because the generator's been running, reconditioning that battery all afternoon. But just to catch you up, I'm burning up some brush as usual, trying to clean the woods out a little bit while the snow is on the ground and I don't have to worry about starting a forest fire. But anyway, we'll catch up more tomorrow. But with that generator running, I didn't want to fight that all day. So I'm going to say goodnight for now, and we will catch you in the morning. Well, good morning. Welcome to my tiny cabin up north in Minnesota. This morning, we're going to continue to work on framing the walls of the tiny cabin. Yesterday, I got the back wall done, except for getting the window framed in. And that's what we're going to do this morning, is get that framed in, hopefully put a couple sheets on it, stand it up, and then move on to the side walls. All right, that'll be my jack, and I'm a little bit long on the measurement. I'm going to Jackson. Got my king, got my jack. All right. I suppose we better cut our sill board. I was wondering where that was. I just tacked my sheeting in on a couple corners and I left the nails out so I can remove them pretty easily because I'm guessing once I get this up I will have to twist it or tweak it to get it level and plumb. But uh, I just wanted to get these on here because they will be much easier to do it laying down to get them started than it will be to lift them on and get them driven. Okay, the first challenge will be, can I lift this? I think so. I think I should be able to, hopefully. Otherwise I planned very poorly. All right. All 
All right, well, I'm gonna get this leveled up and nailed solid so it doesn't go anywhere. And um, I'll catch back with you in a bit. Oh, lift with your back, Terry, lift with your back, not your legs. There, what do you think of that, huh? Well, it's probably a little bit after five o'clock. And as you can see, it is completely dark out. So we are going to call it for tonight. Uh, it went pretty good for the most part, getting that eight foot piece of sheathing on the back wall up high off the ladder was a little challenging, but it was too dark to bring you guys along. So you missed all the fun. But anyway, we're gonna go in, get some dinner and we'll catch you guys later. On tonight's menu is some ham and bean soup. One thing I want to start learning to cook more with is dried beans. Kind of one of those things that if you do want to stock up a little bit to prepare for emergencies or for unknown events, you know, dried beans and rice, they're pretty popular things to stockpile. But you have to know how to use them in recipes. So that's one thing that I've been working on more, learning how to use the stuff that I've stockpiled. I got these LED lights on clearance at Home Depot and they're pretty cool. So they're 12 volt lights, and let me turn the lights off. And um, it's gonna look kind of like a disco in here. So you can change the brightness of them, and you can change the color of them to different colors. Isn't that cool? And it's not something that you're gonna like wash dishes by or anything like that, but as far as just lighting up a room so that you can see, it's kind of like having a big night light. And it's kind of cool. And it takes hardly any energy at all. And they come with this little remote. So you can turn it, uh, you can be sitting in your chair and turn the different colors or like the, it's got a strobe and a flash and different things too. So yeah, pretty cool. Home Depot clearance. I think I paid about nine bucks for them. Definitely would buy some more. In fact, I'm kind of thinking I might buy another strip and tuck them up underneath here. And uh, that would be kind of cool. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get some supper and I will see you guys on the flip side. Good night. Oh, shoot. Oh, we bought a slider. Doggone it. And why this makes a difference is because this is a 35 by 36 window which means it does make a difference which way it's oriented in the wall. So I framed it as a vertical instead of a horizontal. So I knew this window was 35 by 36. That's what it says on the carton. So I knew I needed to rough out a half inch larger vertically and horizontally. But I wasn't sure which way the 36 versus the 35 was oriented. So I took my tape measure and I measured having it in the vertical position as I see the door locks and it's 36. Okay, so it must be 36 wide by 35 deep. So I roughed out my opening 36 wide by 35 deep. The window actually goes like that. <laughs> but now we are at 36 tall by I thought by what I would assume would be 35 wide. But here's the funny part, and this may save me. I measured from the front of the window where the trim is. But when you set the window into the rough opening from outside, the back side of the window goes into the inside. So when I measure that, I'm at 35 inches. I can't believe I'm saying this, but <laughs> this is an example where two wrongs make a right. So my, my first error was I had the window turned the wrong way. And when I measured it, I framed it correctly for it oriented that way. My second mistake was when I measured to determine which way was vertical versus horizontal, 
I measured the wrong side of the window er erroneously. But in reality, by doing that, I actually ended up roughing it longer the way that it's supposed to get roughed, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It probably doesn't. I realize that. Long story short, we might be okay. I'm really tempted to go rough, to like put it in the hole right now. But I don't know if I want to take it out of the box because I might have to return it. But I'm not going to know if I have to return it unless I actually try it. Oh, brother. <laughs> it's a little colder out today, so it's hard to keep the batteries on everything. It's charged for the video stuff. Cameras don't like the cold weather. Yep, fits. by a 12 foot 2 by 4 That would not have been cool. Ugh. I'm going to nail in a couple of holders and we're going to call it a night. We'll catch you guys in the morning. I did that hoping it would square up those walls instead of them, you know, going kittywampus. Have it run down at an angle. So hopefully that keeps me square. You can hear a motor running in the background. I have the generator running because I'm refreshing my solar battery. It hasn't been taking as good of a charge as it normally does. So I don't know if it's just because we're getting so dark or if the battery's old or if it's developing a memory, but it just doesn't seem to be as strong as it was even a few months ago. So but we better go check on old River Dog. He's barking up a storm over here. I'm guessing it's a squirrel, but He's pretty animated, so I better go double check. Make sure it's not a porcupine or something. What do you got over here, goofball? I don't see any big objects, so I'm probably pretty safe. Is it a squirrel? What was it? I think he's gone. I think squirrel's all gone. Your job is to make sure the edge of this sits flush with this board, okay? When it is, shout, tell me, all right? All right, let's see if we can, let's see if we can do this. Oh, that actually, Went pretty doggone easy. Right? Oh shoot. You didn't tell me I was cooking over here. You had, you had one job, one job to tell me when it was straight. <sighs> Okay, watch this edge, and when it lines up, tell me, whoa, okay? Okay, let's try this again, shall we? If we can get this out. Oh man, this is ugly. This is ugly. Let's pound it from the back. That's what we're gonna do. Why didn't you guys just say that in the beginning? No, you're thinking it. Harry, why does it take you a year to frame a tiny cabin? Gee, I don't know. How's that go on there now? How about we line it up first? That might be a that might be a start. Set it on the block down there. Okay, are we flush? 
Are we flush? Not quite. Why are we crooked? Why are we crooked? Don't forget to leave your expansion gap. Gappity gap. Not that much. This is hard on the back. We're out of friggin' nails. Are you kidding me? I don't even have to say it, do I? Don't even have to say it. We get those stud walls nailed in, and we are gonna move on to rafters. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be over here. Good boy, you want a treat? All right, Papa, give you a treat. First dog seed. The smartest dog in the world. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your halftime entertainment show, but it's back to work. We go. So as you can see, I have a rafter leaned up and several of them laid down on the deck. So the rafters are done at this point, but that's for a different video. What's important today is we are going to finish framing the rest of this tiny cabin bunkhouse in. But we needed the deck workspace to complete the rafters. So we had to do the rafters before we could finish the rest of the framing, if that makes sense. So first thing I'm gonna do is organize these rafters in a place where they're out of the way yet easy to obtain when it comes time to put them on the roof. And we're gonna start framing in these walls and getting some windows roughed in. And then hopefully today, we'll get the final and front wall done and complete. And then we can start putting rafters in tomorrow. That's the plan. One, two, oh, that was in here, but I think we got it. And my brace pull fell off already. It is such a weird day. It's like sleeting out. We should be having like major snowstorms and we're getting rain, which, I need to hurry up and get this done. I'm trying to frame one more wall tonight before it gets too late. I probably I won't be able to put it up, I don't expect, but at least if I can get it nailed together, I'll be happy. If I can get my stuff together. I'm trying to put tools away so they don't get wet and tarp some stuff. All right, you don't want to listen to me hammer all night, so I'm going to turn the video off and I'll catch up with you guys later, if it's not raining. I don't know about you guys, but I'm about ready to finish this job today. Kind of anxious to move on to the getting the rafters up. Well, I'm having a little problem getting that the sheet good square on this. So I think I'm going to, I just marked it and I think I'm going to put them on once we get it lifted up. Yesterday we ran into that snafu where we weren't quite square and it made it difficult to attach it. So I'm going to see if we have any issues today before I put any sheeting on while it's still movable. Yeah, same issue. Why are we so far off? Oh, there we go. Sure glad I didn't put the, the panels on. We'd have never moved it, probably. Oh yeah, perfect. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Well, I didn't mean you. I didn't mean you, cutie bear. Cutie bear, my big old dog. <laughs> All right, go play. But I can't find my hammer. I need to pull the nail in. Where's my hammer? 
You guys are always hiding my hammer on me. It's not funny anymore. That measurement isn't even close. What was I thinking? Uh, this is the story of my day. All right, well, I'm gonna get cracking. We will see you guys later. Oh, it is dark and it is cold. It's nice and cozy in here. Your glasses are all fogged up. You want to help me carry this pail? You going to help carry this pail? Can I just put this pail on your back and you can bring it over to the building? Huh? How about that? Should I just load you up? Save the best for last. This is going to be the heaviest one I've done yet. One, two, Rubber, stay, go. Oh boy, that's heavy. That's heavy. Well, let's get this nailed in and two last sheets thrown up there and we're gonna call framing done. The chickadees just interrupted me over there to tell me that they're out of seeds. They literally land on a branch like three feet from my face and get my attention so that I come over here and feed them. Oh, we have one in the bag. Dude, you're in a bag. The framing of the bunkhouse is complete. All I have left to do is take my router bit and open up all the windows and trim out the door. I'm not gonna do that until I get house wrap. And I'm not gonna do house wrap until I get the rafters on. But that is a good place to end this video. So you'll have to stick around for next week's video when we do rafters. But for now, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for helping us build. You know the deal. I love you guys and we will see you soon.